the United States will withdraw from the Paris Climate Accord. I was elected to represent the citizens of Pittsburgh, not Paris. Pittsburgh? Now, what was upsetting about that and that alliteration was a stereotype of our past. But Pittsburgh is poised and ready to lead in the 21st century. We're seeing cities and states and companies and individuals saying we are still in, even with the president pulling us out of one of the most important treaties, when every other major country in the world has said we are going to come together and commit to dealing with climate change. I continue to be shocked at how close the water is encroaching just on the beach. Sea level rise is completely apparent in Miami. We had six and a half foot of water on the main level of the house for over a week. Stuff that was in our bedroom wound up in the garage, and stuff that was in the garage, I imagine that's way down in Louisiana now. The storms are becoming stronger in Puerto Rico. The worst thing is to think that that reality will repeat. Not a lot survived that fire in Ventura County. It burned so hot that everything just liquefied to not be able to save anything. It was just really hard. If we're going to avoid breaching catastrophic levels of warming, we need to be putting our foot on the renewable energy acceleration pedal. The transformation towards a renewable energy future is the greatest economic opportunity of the 21st century. Businesses have lined up to say, we're still committing to the Paris Accord because it's good for their bottom line. My daughter, Faith, she made the decision that wind was where she wanted to be. This is an opportunity that hasn't been available in America for a long, long time. The solar industry is offering that second chance opportunity to individuals like myself. It doesn't matter if you're Republican, Democrat, Independent. You have a role to play here. And if we look at it as an American Marshall Plan, we can exceed the goals of the Paris Agreement. This is the start of us taking control of our future. We have the right to a future. We have the right to these basic necessities that we need to live. We, the people, need to take action. Our lives are at stake here.